got a 2000 Nissan Quest with a 3.3 engine. A lot of distributor caps have the coil coming right out of the center. But if you look at this distributor cap, it comes out of the center, but then it goes over to the side. Now when we take the distributor cap off, you'll see what we're talking about. We'll take it off and turn it over. On this distributor cap, you'll actually see the coil is not in the middle. It's over to the side, and then inside the cap, it travels to the middle, and then it goes down to the rotor and circulates on the rotor. But if you'll find that coil pin, now we'll go back down to the distributor, and it actually goes in this little insert down here. Now when you're looking at this coil, come over to the side over here and you can see some discoloration. Now right alongside that coil stem you'll see the discoloration. Let's travel that down to the distributor cap itself. Along that stem there, if you look at the base of that coil, you've got some cracks right in there and some discoloration there as well. So now let's start the engine and see what's going to happen here. We got a distributor cap off to the side. Now we're going to look alongside that coil tower and crank the engine. So as you can tell, that spark is jumping out of that coil going over to the body. That could actually present with all kinds of misfire problems. So we're going to change the distributor now. Unplug it. Loosen the hold down bolt. Pull the distributor out. Okay, we got the old and new distributor. You can see the old distributor where the bad spot was and the new distributor. Okay, we're going to take the new distributor, stab the distributor, get all of our marks lined up. And just stug, snug it up then we'll set the timing. Now the new distributor with the new coil we're going to start this one up. Okay. Now you can see the sparks not jumping across. Put on the new cap. Take the plug wires off the old cap put them on the new cap. Okay now we're ready to start it. Now you need to double check your timing to make sure it's right on the mark. You ought to be close. So get your service manual out. Read the procedures for how to double check your timing. Take the clues that are given to you, gather your evidence, and let it lead you to the problem.